Hey there, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly tip. And today's tip is how you can actually download the new KW Command mobile app. So all you'll have to do if you happen to have an Apple device, so if you have an iPhone, you can download this immediately on November 30th. All right, and the Android one should be coming out shortly, but for anyone with an iPhone, feel free to go to the App Store, and what you're gonna search for is KW, I'm gonna put in a colon and a space, and then command. And we're just gonna search for KW colon space command. Now you can also search for the KW app, all right, if you search for the KW mobile app like a consumer would, then once that comes up, you can actually click on the developer and it'll actually show you the KW Command app as well too. Now I've previously downloaded the KW Command app, so on the right hand side of where it says KW Command at the top up here, it has the cloud with the arrow pointing down, basically saying that I've downloaded it previously so I can re-download this again. Now, if you already have it downloaded, much like it's showing on the KW Buy and Sell Real Estate section, it says Open, so that way you can open it immediately. Or like under the DocuSign one down here, if I haven't downloaded it previously, it'll say Get. All right, so I'm gonna click on that Cloud button so I can download this real quick. And if you've not downloaded anything from the App Store before, all right, you will need to have your credit card information on file with the App Store. All right, it's so basically with Apple, even if it is for free. So in this case, this app is completely free to utilize but you'll want to make sure that you do have your credit card on file so you can download it. All right, so I'm going to click the open option on here, and that's going to open up that KDB Command app for me. So this is what the home page of the KDB Command app is going to look like, and all you'll need to do is put inside your login and password you would typically use for command on a desktop or a laptop. All right, so whenever you go to agent.kdb.com, you'll put inside that same username and password. So I'm going to put in my username, and I'll put it in my password, and I changed my password just for this video. All right, so I'm gonna click that login button on here, and that'll let me log in immediately. There we go. Awesome, all right, as you can see with Face ID, since I'm, I'm working off an iPhone 11, so an older iPhone, not too old though, all right, do you wanna allow app I'm sorry, allow the app to use Face ID to authenticate. So I'm gonna say yes, so that way I can just go ahead and see my, my face immediately. And then of course we have our terms of service on here as well too. All right, so if you wanna read through everything, feel free to. And once you scroll to the very bottom, then you can click the I have read and acknowledge the terms of service and privacy, and we'll click accept on here. All right, and as you can see, I can now allow for notifications to come over. And then of course we have the warning on here about obviously the do not call list. And as you can see on here, the TCPA, all right, including B2B calls and texts. I'm gonna click okay on here. And this is where I can access my new command app and utilize command mobile on the go. So now if you are out and about and as a real estate agent, more than likely you are most of the time out of the office, all right, showing properties, helping buyers look at properties, whatever it may be. All right, you're gonna be able to need to access command on the go. All right, now you're gonna have this in the palm of your hand immediately. So the home page we're looking on on here, as you can see, you've got your contact task. So I can actually see what is due today, what is due soon, what is past due that I need to complete, who I need to contact on here. So here are leads that I've never actually contacted and those that have been recently active within the past 72 hours. All right, and then things that I need to know. All right, what birthdays do I have coming up? What anniversaries do I have? All right, what is my current profit share? You can see the date at the top up here, obviously. And then at the top right, we've got our bell icon, so we can actually see unread and read notifications, so we can actually view both of those at any time. All right, now additionally that, at the very bottom, we can actually view our contacts as well. So very similar to how you would actually go on command to view your contacts, I can actually see all of them alphabetized on here. I can see just my leads only if I want to. I can see my recently active contacts, all right? Or I can actually pull up my smart views as well, once again, similar to how you would do this on a desktop or a laptop. And then of course, at the top right, you can also add a brand new contact, or of course, you can also sort and filter on here too. Once again, the exact same way you would do it on your desktop or laptop from agent.kdb.com. Now outside of your contacts, you can also see at the very bottom, we have our task option, whether it's for the contacts or the opportunities on here. So that way you can view both on the go to utilize this immediately. All right, so as you can see, this list displays all opportunity, opportunity tasks across your personal and team accounts. So if you are on a team, it's gonna display both of them on here for you. 
All right, now outside of this, we can also go through and as you can see, click the plus sign at the bottom down here under the contacts to actually create a new task that we may wanna utilize. So maybe you happen to be out and about showing a property and maybe you wanna put an offer on this property. So I could then actually put inside a task on here by putting in the name and I could go through and then I can add inside what I need to do for that task and it'll remind me. All right, so the same way that you would add a task once again on your desktop or laptop, you can now do it on your phone with the ease of the app on here. All right, and then of course, you also happen to have your hamburger menu down here. Once again, we can see the lead pool. We can actually view our profile and then even access command training. If you click on command training, this is gonna take you over into Safari. And as you can see, I've got answers.kdb.com that'll come up immediately. All right, so I'm gonna go back over here real quick. And then at the bottom right, I also have to have my profile. All right, so then I can actually see, all right, here's my account or personal, and I can log out immediately. Now, if you click on the three little lines over here for that little hamburger settings type menu, then I can actually see the profile section. And I can actually pull up all of my different profile information that's displaying as well on here. All right, so then I can actually view all my info on the go of what's actually coming up over inside my command profile. All right, so this is a quick tour of the new KDB Command app. Feel free to utilize this. Obviously, take advantage of this. This is a phenomenal tool, and it's going to help you out tremendously on the go. So for anyone that is out and about, especially this holiday season coming into the new year in 2022, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. So you're going to have all of your information on the go. You can access it immediately. You can add in new items. This is going to be a huge lifeline for you. So take advantage of this and utilize everything possible. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.